Why did you uh, call out Kid Austin? Well, cause I took his I took his spot, right? Mm. So I just the opportunity was there to call someone out. I called him out. <laughs> no, no, uh, no bad blood there. Just do you think you could get the fight next? I mean, he they've been outspoken saying that Oscar De La Hoya is down to make the fight happen. Yeah, I think the I think the fight. Did you hear that? Did you hear that news as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what's your, I heard, your thoughts I heard. on that? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. You know, if it makes if it if it makes sense, it, it will, will happen, guaranteed. We're gonna have to talk about Floyd, Kid Austin, Schofield, and this ongoing situation with Lucas Batty. I'm here to break news to you involving how Keyshawn Davis has infiltrated into this situation. We all know the saga between Floyd, Kid Austin, Schofield, and Keyshawn has just been building, or been building and building. And I'm telling you, it's going to get to a point, and we, and we all know where it's going to get to. But I want to keep the attention right now real quick on Lucas Batty. Listen, this man don't want no smoke with Kid Austin. I mean, this guy is running around stuttering, stumbling on all his words. I mean, it's getting downright trifling at this point. You know, um, clearly you see Zab Judah. Uh, if you missed this little sit down that Lucas Batty had, Zab Judah, clearly, I see the smile. It's difference in smiles, ladies and gentlemen. The smile that I caught from Zab was, man, this guy, ain't really, he ain't really serious. You know, Lucas Batty, we all know if you want to just give him knockout of the year, that's, that's going to be his claim to fame because if he's – trying to get Kid Austin next. It's going to be all she wrote. Lucas Batty is 17 and 0. No losses, no draws. Man, or should I say Prince Lucas Batty, you know, especially off that knockout. If you look at their records, that they're, they're identical with Kid Austin. He's 17 and 0. No losses, no draws. Lucas Batty, you know, his claim is saying that basically he's a knockout artist and these are two punchers and he, he believes it's going to be a big fight. Now, Lucas Batty said it was just because he took his spot with the H2O fight. We all know that Kid Austin and Ashton were supposed to lock horns, but uh, it was a lot of things. Kid Austin just had surgery. He had an injury in camp. You know, uh, so that, that derailed some things of just in the present. But he's ready to go. Lucas Batty, the one who came out, nobody nobody was thinking about Lucas Batty. You understand? Even though FS Promotions did come out and say they wanted the winner, you know, of this fight. Uh, a lot of people got to stop talking like when Coach Schofield is speaking. And I'm talking about Kid Austin's father. You know, uh, I, I understand that, you know, we want to make it seem like he just talking because he got lips. This that he manages Kid Austin. You know, uh, and if you hear him, you know, if you ever hear Keyshawn Davis, he always tries to figure out why he even have a voice in this whole equation. You understand? But he, he I mean, listen, let's not make let's not get it twisted. You know, so you need the manager, you know, to smooth things out. You heard that, you know, from, you know, Coach Schofield, because sometimes, you know, in business, you got these multimillionaires sitting down. You know, it, it, you know, things could get we could get some pitfalls in there. Sometimes you need somebody in there to smooth over them pitfalls. And that's where FS promotions come in. You know, um, if you hear Lucas Batty. He doesn't have a promoter. He doesn't. It's almost like he's just he's just waiting to hear some numbers. You know, uh, FS Promotions. Uh, also, Golden Boy, you're not going to tell me Oscar De La Hoya is not trying to make fights happen. Even Lucas Batty came out and said Oscar has been in talks with some people, you know, that um, help manage him. You know, but right now he doesn't have a promoter. So he it is like kind of in Golden Boy's court. You know, if he, in my opinion, even though he's knocked out of the year, to me personally, Kid Austin is the A side. Nobody knows Lucas Batty. You understand? I mean, you got to be a boxing fan to know what's going on with him. You know, uh, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, he kind of just came on out of nowhere. Just like he said, he took somebody's spot. He wasn't supposed to be in that fight, you know, but evidently he ended up there. Uh, so now Keyshawn Davis, I'm here to tell you right now, you take it or you leave it. 
is Flight Sports TV. I'm breaking news. I got a source very close to the situation. They are telling me that Lucas Batty is running over hula hoops, trying to evade Kid Austin. And now I'm hearing that him and Keyshawn Davis could be in talks for a big time fight coming up that nobody wants to see. I don't know if Keyshawn Davis and his management or whatever is trying to do this uh, to play games. You know, because every time you hear a situation with Kid Austin fighting Keyshawn Davis, you hear and all these people say, oh, it's too early. Oh, is this, that, and the third. You know, we got to get we got to get out of that. People want to see big time fights. Kid Austin is willing to put it all on the line. These fighters, they they thinking too crazy. We discussing legacy. We discussing this. Everybody trying to protect their legacy. Everybody think they're going to go out like Floyd Money Mayweather, you know, and some people ain't going ain't gonna to reach that plateau. And if you run up on Kid Austin, you, you ain't going to reach that feat. And we're going to cut you prematurely short. You know, uh, they're just straight up. Now, there's a lot of people, what they try to do is they try to put other people in front of themselves, you know, because they don't want no smoke with Kittle. They know the cloth that he's cut from. You hear Keyshawn, oh, he's a good kid. He, what does that have to do with the ferociousness, the aggressive nature that Kid Austin puts on in that square circle? You know, all that's out the window. And that's what I find very deceptive, you know, and that's what I will, you know, give FS promotions as they sit down and they discuss with Lucas bad because they they were on a live stream together. You know, FS Promotions, you got Kid Austin, you got Coach Schofield. They're so polite. They're so business-oriented, you know, trying to get this thing done. First thing you hear is, what's going on? Who do we need to get in contact with? This, that, and the third. They trying to get it done tonight. You understand? Um, so it, it, it's crazy, you know, but when they get in that square circle, I, I don't know if a lot of fighters could compartmentalize those two different things because you're talking and communicating with Kid Austin all through up the fight. And then when you get in the ring, it's like, who? this is not the person you were communicating with. This guy, you know what time it is. You understand? And I, I'm, it's some, like I said, Lucas Batty was losing that whole entire fight, the H2O. He, he got he to quit. That's not going to happen. You know, and the shots that Ashton was hitting Lucas with, you better hope Kid Austin don't don't tap you with some of them shots because it's gonna be lights out. You understand? Just point blank, period. You understand? I'm just I'm here to tell you. You know, so uh, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm inviting Lucas Batty. I'm gonna reach out to his management team. We're gonna discuss. You know, we're gonna try to get this fight done here at Flight Sports. You know, uh, shout out to FS Promotions. I already know is going down. Now, you know, it, it's just like I said, it's only a matter of time. Kid Austin is number two in, in, in he's number two in the WBA, pardon me. He's soon to be basically a mandatory for Tank. It's, it, I'm telling you, it's going to get to a point where nobody can duck him. Nobody can run from him. You hear what's going on with, uh, pardon me, with, pardon me, with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, when, when he's trying to call out Shakur, what does he do? He's putting Abdullah Mason. He's putting this guy. And he's talking about fighting Zepeda. It just get real tricky when it's time for Kid Austin to get one of these title fights with some of these bigger names who know him, who been in the square circle with him. You know, so I'm going to leave it at that, man. It's Flight Sports TV. Listen, man, take it or leave it. I just broke news to you. Lucas Batty is running and hiding. He don't want no smoke with Kid Austin. And Keyshawn, Dave, I ain't going to waste no more time on Keyshawn. It's Flight Sports TV. Y'all know what it is.